It has been said that children don't come with an instruction manual. In short, insightful segments learn from an eclectic panel of parents as they offer their perspectives on issues that affect parenting today. The Home Nation Roundtable. Our conversation topic for tonight is how have our parents shaped the person we are today? Wow, welcome to another episode of um, Home uh, Nation Roundtable. Thank you very much for being with us today uh, for this special episode. Um, you know, one of the areas that uh, I've been very big on as um, you know, a parent myself, mm -hmm. is that often you know, we, we kind of look at our kids you know, and play the role of parenting. Um, but obviously we all ourself, you know, we all a child of somebody. And, um, you know, so what's one area that you would say that in your life you know, that um, either mom or dad has done you know, for you that has kind of in a way shaped who you are today? What would you say if there was just kind of one key area? Um, so for today, can we, can we start off with maybe Rajiv? I think the one thing that, uh, that was really grateful to my parents was they were always encouraging. I mean, even from young in kindergarten and in primary school, mm. <clears throat> when you know, I would do concerts, yeah. and I wasn't, I wasn't the best on stage. I, in fact, I, I was pretty horrible. But you know, mom was going, oh great, I didn't know you could sing, son. <laughs> yeah. And so, I mean, that sort of encouragement sort of you know, helped me all through my life. Yeah. Yeah. Someone who sort of you know, pushed you and, and supported you. Yeah. Yeah. So lots of encouragement. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Was it both from both mom and dad? Both, yeah. Dad was more the silent type, yeah. but you know, he, you, that look he had in his eye, you know, that he, you know, he, you had his, um, his approval. Yeah. 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 That look in his eye. Exactly. Yeah. Mom was more about the chatter, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. <laughs> mm. yeah. And you felt that was something that you know really helped you along. Exactly. Time. Yeah. Mm. It just made me made me feel that you know I could do anything. I could, uh -huh. I could take on anything. Mm. Yeah. And that was really helpful. Cool, fantastic. Yeah. And is that something that you, you know, find very important for your kids now? Yes, um, I try and, and do the same for my kids. Uh, you know, attend in you know, their functions, their concerts, um, and I think you know my wife does more of that than, than I do, to be honest. Uh, and uh, you know, so she she deserves more of that than I do. But uh, we, we try and try and instill that as much as we can. Are you the silent dad? Uh. <laughs> um, well. And yourself, Chandran? I think the, the greatest favour that my father did those many years ago was to, to accept a job in an organisation that gave him um, a living quarters uh, up there in Woodlands. So I grew up in this, in this small area with uh, about 10, 15 families, um, you know, close by. There was Cantonese music next door, you know, different kinds of smells. At 4 o'clock there was Hindi music from the Sikh family. Uh, and there was no segregation, so no, it was it was it was just normal for me to you know to live amongst this. And there was a kampung beside us too. Um, and then we spent a lot of time out there in the wilderness at that time. But now there's no more wilderness, mm. so it's a sense of adventure. Yeah, mm. um, yeah, so that was a wonderful start uh, to my life. So that environment that gave you a whole yeah. That's why I've been doing children's theatre all my life. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. Mm. yeah. So the whole kind of space and environment helped you to influence who you are, you think? Definitely, yeah, yeah. definitely. Mm. And mm. The, the idea of um, not seeing differences in people, mm. and I think uh, for my parents, I mean, they came from Kerala and all that. I mean, that was a big deal, you see. They, I mean, mm. there was no talk about you know, race, religion, mm. uh, although we were Hindus, but uh, you know, it was not a big issue. And I, I, I think I'm so grateful uh, to have grown up like that. Mm. And I try to you know, instill in my children too, and people mm. around me. Uh, mm. To give them lots of different perspectives. So yeah, that was the kind of childhood I had. And, mm. yeah. How about yourself, um, Sanjit? Well, mm. kind of a mm. similar story, actually, mm. from, uh, mm. you know, that, as you've heard from um, both of you. I think, um, you know, parents. What, they left you in a shopping mall? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Actually, do you know what? It's really funny because my parents were, were, unfortunately my father has passed away. He was quite young when he passed on. He was 57. He had a, a brain tumour. So it was very traumatic for, for my family. But I think growing up, 
um, you know, they were perfect parents in the sense that, rather ironically, even though I was I was the only girl, um, and you know, girls tend to be protected a lot in Asian families, mm. they actually gave me quite a lot of freedom. Wow. Which you know, when I look back and I think, gosh, I can't believe my parents <laughs> let me do that. Yeah. Um, you know, at <laughs> quite a young age, you know, I, I, we we all moved to the U.S. and then. I, I went on to do grad school, and, they, and I was quite young. I was only about 20, 21. And um, they just said, oh, you know, you, you just decide what you want to do. Um, of course, there was that push cool. to try to get into a legal career as well, very similar. <laughs> and I was like, no, I'm going to be a journalist. And they were like, really? OK, well, why don't you go try it out? And uh, I did, and, and it was extraordinary because I, you know, I was living by myself um, at quite a young age and you know, living with quite questionable characters as well. So for instance, <laughs> I moved into this wonderful apartment, which I absolutely adored. It was right across from you know, this beautiful beach. It, it, it was wonderful. So they didn't make me make my own choices. They let me make my own choices, and uh, it was great to do that. Um, though there was a little bit of concern, I think, when I did become a journalist. I did freelance for a bit. Mm. And they were like, so when are you going to go and get a proper job? <laughs> I'm like, this is my proper job. I actually do television and I'm, I'm a journalist. And they're like, well, you know, it's not really steady, is it? You're doing all these other bits on the side. And, you know, it's a bit like, I suppose, being an actor as well. You're doing lots of different work, but nothing really consistent. So I think they were concerned about that a little bit at first, but then they sort of approved it in the end. So they're, they're very pleased. And I know they've... Uh, um, my mum still watches me and she lives in the US and she gets up and she'll watch me wow. sort of it's prime time over there It's a very early morning <laughs> slot here. So she loves it. And she watches me all the time and she tells me off when I'm you know You haven't been sleeping girl. I can tell you've been out partying the night before <laughs> So they always yeah. know that they Yeah, know. so I think just the fact that they, they they let me make my own choices and there was le that level of rather surprisingly a, a level of freedom that I at, could at, have At quite a young age too, yeah. at that stage. Yeah. 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 Wow so Did you have siblings? Mm -hmm. Yes, I've got two brothers. Two bro younger or older than uh, you? An older one and a younger one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they both right. live in the US as well. So my mm -hmm. entire immediate family all live away. Ah. I'm the only one who came home. Came home, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great for Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Singapore agrees. <laughs> Not with some of my BBC stories. <laughs> OK, cool. How about um, Adrian? In, in a similar way, my, my mum was, was, was the one to be much more <coughs> vocal about, about <coughs> I suppose, I wouldn't go so far as saying encouraging, but kind of push, push, <laughs> pushing, pushing. <laughs> my dad would kind of silently nod and, and agree with this pushing. Um, and so there was a lot of pushing <laughs> through, through my growing up years. Yeah. And uh, w without being overly facetious about it, I, I, I would actually say that the one significant thing that that kind of um, impacted on, on on who I <laughs> have become today mm. is them, I suppose, finally giving up on me. It's <laughs> 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 only half half in jest because mm. I mean, like I said, through through my formative years, there was there was a lot of there was a lot of uh, pressure, I suppose, to yeah. to to excel and to perform, you know, in school, etc. But not, but never to perform on stage. Mm -hmm. um, um, mm -hmm. But th that was always something that was um, kind of latent, and, and I knew was present. Yeah. Um, but mm -hmm. that was never something that they uh, even knew to encourage, mm -hmm. okay. um, because you know they wanted me, me to be a lawyer. Yeah. Uh, uh, and hence, <laughs> you know, when it came to that fateful day when it was very obvious to them that the, the law thing would, was never going to happen yeah. and they were just kind of mm -hmm. threw their hands up in the square and go, oh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> that was a big day for me. <laughs> <laughs> a big day for me. Um, but like I said, it, it, you know, as, as parents, yeah. all you want for your kids are, are for them to be happy, yeah. you know. And, and, and there's a very distinct, um, it's a very distinct whether you want your, your, your kids to be successful mm. or to be happy. Yes you, can, yeah. yes, you can be both, mm. but very often, yeah. you know, certainly, mm. um, happiness comes first. Yes. Happiness comes first. And, and I think they realize that. In, mm. in their heart of hearts, I think they realize that. Mm. And they, they felt, okay, you know what? If this is what you really have to do, mm. go and find your way. Mm. Yeah. And I always knew that they, they'd be there for me. And, and it was it was a, it was a it was a case of like, okay just just let me go and 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 and, and I may fail mm -hmm. let me go and just fail on my own terms yeah, yeah. sounds very romantic and all that but, <laughs> but but I think they were just kind of saying, yeah okay go go fine go and you know they but 
I, I always knew that they'd be there for me. Mm -hmm. And they've always been, been there for me you know, through, through my whole um, working life. And um, you know, still waiting for me to fail. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I fail, you know, I fail, I fail. But I pick myself up knowing that they, they're, they're there, you know, watching my back. So, yeah. Mm. So it's the moment when they, they kind of like let, they let go, let go. I think yes, mm. I think um, so. So for, for me as a, as a parent now, mm. I think mm. I've, I've told myself to to learn to let go, let go. a little wow. bit mm. earlier. Mm -hmm. I guess yeah. it's yes. it's kind of scary, yeah. but um, yeah. I think you, I think you have to mm. you, you have to know you have to prepare yourself for that. Yeah. Mm. And it is it is scary, isn't it? Yes. Letting that letting go mm. business, mm. you know. So it must have been a big moment for your parents too. To yes, it was. Yeah. A lot of tears. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of tears. Yeah. tears Some from my mum. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly from me. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure they're proud of you now. Yes, I mean, to, yeah. to, to, to a fault, actually. Yeah. I mean, mm. to, like my mum, uh, she, she'll watch any rubbish that I do. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a lot. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I'm sure that your audience doesn't think that. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Yeah, agents <coughs> being very modest. <laughs> um, wow, well, I learned a lot from um, everybody. I mean, I, I, I too, you know, with, um, <coughs> have always reflected how, mm -hmm. you know, my parents have kind of shaped who I am. But um, hearing from all of you, I mean, I'm sure the parents at home today as well, you know, from many, many perspectives, there's the great thing about parenting is there's just no wrong, there's just no right. Yeah, uh, it's you know every family is uniquely special and different, isn't it? Yeah. So you know, thank you very much. Hello, parents, and thanks for watching Jams TV. If you would like to see more videos that help take your parenting skills to another level, just click on the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching Jams TV, and continue to discover the champion in your child. This has been a Mind Champs Media Production.